since it's our first time at the Great Salt Lake, obviously we have to go in it. We did it, we found some bison. We're about to go three for three on drive through meals today. Well, we had a very sweaty night last night uh, trying to sleep. We woke up in the middle of the night both drenched in sweat because of how hot it was in the van. But we didn't realize the views here were so great when we got here last night because it was dark. And today we will be driving from here to Salt Lake City. So yeah, check out these views. We're off to Salt Lake City. We might make a few stops on the way, but we're excited to get going. So we just spent a couple hours in a local Starbucks on our way to Salt Lake City. And escaping the heat. <laughs> yeah, the air conditioning felt great, but we do have one more stop on the way to Salt Lake City that we have to attend to. So we're at Dairy Queen, as you can tell, and we've been wanting it all week because whenever we go on hikes, wherever we are, we always get Dairy Queen after it. It's just kind of become this tradition that started last summer. And so all week we've been saying we need Dairy Queen and there hasn't been one around any of the national parks or other places we've been. So on the way up to Salt Lake City, we saw that there was one. So obviously we have to stop and make that a priority on our trail. Great, thanks so much. You're welcome. Awesome, thank you. So that was absolutely delicious, exactly what we needed because it's 100 degrees outside and now we're off to Salt Lake City. So we are just outside of Salt Lake. Uh, we got here in about three and a half hours. We're heading over to Antelope Island because I've heard from a friend that lives in Salt Lake City that there are some bison there that come up pretty close to the car. So we're gonna check it out and, and then maybe meet up with them later on today. Alrighty. I got a snack. You got a snack? I love that. Alrighty, hoping to see some bison and the Salt Lake. We haven't, yeah. we haven't been to Salt Lake yet, so. No. some bison. The map is a little tricky to navigate, but we did it. Since it's our first time at the Great Salt Lake, obviously we have to go in it um, and see if we can float. I want to know how well I can float compared to the ocean, because in the ocean I feel like I can float I know. decently well, so I'm excited to see how and well I can do is, here. And then there are showers. And there are showers. Which so it's pretty cool because we haven't showered like in a real shower in a while. True. So that's gonna be awesome. This walk is kind of far. Long. Yeah. Alrighty, we'll see you in the lake. There are um, a lot of bugs on the lake that we didn't know about. Well, we did. Yeah. We, Our friend told us about them, but then we're like, we can handle some bugs. Yeah, it, there's a lot we more can. bugs than we thought there were. We're gonna, we're gonna not go in the lake, unfortunately, but it's really pretty to be here. But we're gonna shower. We are gonna take a shower, that is confirmed. We may not have gone in the salt lake, but at least the landscape is pretty. Do we look fresh? Because it's the freshest we've been in a week. <laughs> First real shower in literally a week. Yeah, I feel like we're glowing, honestly. I know, I feel like, look, I feel my hair. Does it look better? Oh, it looks it better. It feels better. Yeah. <laughs> we were looking a little greasy. We were feeling greasy. Nothing wrong with that, but no. love a good shower. Yeah, definitely hard to come by in a van, but can't complain because it's been an awesome week. Yeah, so. so now we're gonna find somewhere to cook some mac and cheese. And find a place to sleep. And sleep. What's happening right now? 
we're about to go three for three on drive through meals today. I don't know if I would count the second one as a meal. Dairy Queen's always a meal. It was just ice cream. You just have to believe in it. We're about to get something that Sarah has never had before. So yeah, I've never been to In-N-Out Burger. I didn't know there would be one in Utah, but I guess we're pretty far west, so it makes sense. Just happy to not have to cook tonight, so can't complain about that. Okay, first time. Let's see if it's worth all the hype. It looks pretty good. Not pretty good. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Well, we have made it to our last campsite of the trip, and it is at the local Walmart. What's van life without staying at Walmart at least once, right? But we will pick this up tomorrow when we head out with some of our friends to the Bonneville Salt Flats. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning from Walmart. It is 7.50 a.m., already 84 degrees outside. So, sleeping last night was a little bit hot because it didn't get below 77. But we're excited to explore the Salt Flats today. And we need to clean up the whole van, which is gonna be a struggle because even though it's so small, we seem to have lost things quite frequently. <laughs> I was able to secure some buns, and now KJ's eating his sandwich. Pretty good. In the Walmart parking lot. Look at the mountains, though. about to drop off Michael Vangelo. Super sad. But it was a good week. We had a lot of fun. And we were happy we did it. And we would definitely do it again. Saying goodbye to Michael Vangelo. Bye buddy. Shade. Well, one final look at Michael Vangelo before we get picked up by our friends and head out to the Bonneville Salt Flats for the day and hang out before our flight tonight. Yay. Bye Michael Vangelo. So we made it to the salt flats. Kid is currently trying to fly the drone and it is just beautiful. So these are the salt flats where they actually hold a lot of like land speed um, competitions and a lot of land speed records were broken here because it's just so much flat land that you can drive on in whether it be like cars or other land vehicles going super fast across them for you know, miles. As you can see, it just kind of goes forever. And it's super bright. I'm sure I look really pale and white right now just because the light reflects off the salt. So yeah, glad we came. Bonville Salt Flats, super cool. Now we're gonna head back into the city and get some dinner with some friends. So we just got to the Salt Lake City Airport. We're taking a red eye back to Boston. For the past few hours, we hung out with some friends. It was really great to catch up with them. And we got delicious Mexican food. Okay, so after going through and having to remove some luggage from our suitcases because it was they were both too heavy, and then making one of our bags too heavy, we got, finally got through security and we lost the wind muff of our microphone. <laughs> so all around a little bit of a struggle tonight. Okay, we got to our gate and now we are about to board our flight back to Boston. We're hoping the middle seat trick works. Boston. We made it back to Boston. The flight was super easy. We definitely sat the whole time. The air out here feels a little bit different, a little bit more humid. We had so much fun in Utah, Colorado, and Arizona, but thanks for following along and we'll see you next time on our next trip to... PBD! <laughs> Seattle. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> like I said, three for three on drive through meals today. I am including Dairy Queen with the blizzard as my lunch. And we have to give up like a bit. No. I don't know. It's a lot of books. One of the prettier Walmarts I've been to. Yeah, take a bite.